All right, Shalawam, want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be real quick. You know, I was uh, I was actually stunned to actually see, you know, you got YouTubers that are talking about this World War Three. All right. And and um, I'm listening in, you know, and he got callers, you know, the guy, he got callers calling in and Jake calling in and speaking their piece on what they think and what they believe. But here it is. The prophets are out teaching this truth on the highways and byways doing epistles, sit down shows every day. And that just shows you that the Lord got two thirds of his people sleep. Brothers touch on these topics and do these shows on what's going on, and Jake don't seem to have a clue. But then they keep talking about they're waking up. So I'm just going to play a little bit of this guy that called in. Stop with the threats. It's, it's like how we say, um, head up or shut up. Trump is on some head up or shut up. You don't talk about it. What, what the fuck are you going to do about it? It's crazy. But somebody might just step up and say, yo, you know what? Fuck it. Boom. Yeah, I mean, every, every time there's always somebody that does that. But the other thing I was saying is people were saying that this is like a war between good and evil. This ain't a war between good and evil. This is a war between evil and more evil. The mm. good people that are standing around, we ain't got an army. We ain't got a plane. We ain't got a boat. We ain't got, we, the good people that really need to be out here fighting ain't fighting. We busy trying to take care of family. That's what good people do. Good people ain't trying to go to war. Good, good people are trying to take care of their families. So there's evil motherfuckers out there that's just fighting over whatever they fighting for, money, Power, greed, control, that uh, you're never going to get that. You're never going to, we, we're not animals, we're human beings. You're never going to control anyone, really. So See, and Jake don't have a clue, you know, because uh, the word ain't popping to them. You know, this gospel that's been preached, starting with the prophets, I'm going to say the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men on down, you know, teaching 100% truth. And there's other brothers out there teaching 100% truth. Following the ways and the true gospel of the Lord, speaking uh, the prophecies, Jake don't want to hear it because it ain't it ain't entertaining. But when real matters actually happen, like what Trump did, he killed that commando that was in Iran. All right, and now you know even they can see that you know we're on the verge of World War Three. You know, and also too, um, I know you know this is big because uh, my son came home. And was asking me about, you know, asked me did Trump kill somebody? Because in, in school, they talking about it. You know? It's all through social media. You got social media where Jake is making fun, uh, uh making memes, taking this thing lightly, you know, thinking at this place, see what it is that this place America is Babylon the Great. We're living in Bible prophecy. You know? This this war is about good and evil. Okay, Esau Edom, which starting with the Rothschilds, okay, the house of Esau, the so-called white man, all right, he is the Edomites that the Bible speaks of. They are going to fight against, against, um, against the Lord, all right? You know, so let me, he, he has said something, let me see something. Power, greed, control, that, uh, you know. Yeah, and the way that Esau want to control everybody is by the way of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, you know. But anyway, you know, I ain't going to hold, uh, stay too long. I said it's going to be quick. But uh, check it out, man. You got YouTubers doing videos on World War Three, And he got callers calling in. And I'm just listening. And Jake don't have a clue because they're not watching. And, um, and, and that's just prophecy. You know, the Lord has a remnant that he's going to deliver, which is the elect. So this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. If you don't believe or, or you you kind of sort of believe the fact of the matter is that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians. All right. Y'all all, all Israelites, your Hebrew Israelites, regardless if you accept it or not. All right. You are the most highest chosen people. OK. And Israel is just another name. Jacob's name was turned to Israel. Okay. And we are the son of Jacob. Jacob had 12, 12 sons, man. 
So whether you believe that or not, you're Israelites, man. And this is why these things must happen. As it's written in Matthew 24, these things must come to pass. All right. We, we, we are going to go into World War Three. All right. <laughs> it says, what then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. So not on this, this go around, all Israel is going to be delivered. It's going to be an elect of the Israelites that's going to be delivered and the rest going to be destroyed. Now, I just, I just clicked on election. All right. The Strong's G, 1589, Eklage. Eklage. Now, <laughs> election, it says the act of picking, the act of picking out, choosing, because the Most High, okay, he selected and elected and picked out and chose certain men from the very beginning. All right. The first fruits, it says of the act of the act of God's free will, by which before the foundation of the world, he decreed his blessing to certain persons. All right. <clears throat> the decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Hamashiach, Yahweh by grace alone, a thing or person chosen. Of person, God's elect. Okay, the Most High. Okay, you know, gave gave His only begotten Son, which means first Spirit created, which was Yahweh Shai, who the world only called Jesus Christ. He came down, and He laid His life down for His people, which are the Israelites. Okay, the Hebrew Israelites, not the Black Hebrew Israelites, because we're not Black. That's something that these government and these Edomites keep putting that on us to demonize us. All we're doing is teaching, man. And we're not black Hebrew Israelites. We're Hebrew Israelites. Just like Esau. Esau is a Hebrew Edomite. Okay? Now, Yahweh Shai was sent forth, okay, to uh, to be that lamb and that ultimate sacrifice to bring the deliverance unto the Lord's elect. Okay? So that what? All Israel will be saved, man. Okay? So it's selection. Um, chosen election, right? You know, so you should understand that, man. It says, "What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. The rest is who? Two thirds. The rest of you Israelites. And you can see it. You could just yeah, watch this video, man. You know, and I watch it from time to time because this this dude he be uh he be having some good topics, something to listen to sometimes. You know." But, you know, they're in the world. But anyway, verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that, they, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Okay? So the Most High have put a spirit of slumber upon two-thirds so that they can't see. No matter how long the prophets been out there teaching his, teaching his word, Two-thirds of the Lord's people will not get it. You see? Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. And David say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. All right? So, you know, I just wanted to make that point because I was kind of stunned, you know, to see YouTubers doing videos on World War Three. I expect the underground news and things like that, of course. But, you know, it is what it is. And that just proves that what we're living in the time. Matter of fact, let me get one more scripture and I'll close out on that. Um, Romans 13 and 11. You know, these are simple, man. It says Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake up out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. You see? So by seeing things like this and then all this talk on the radio, all this talk on social media, mainstream, kids in school, teachers talking about it, you know? My son was told to write an essay on how he would stop the war. <laughs> you can't stop this war, this World War Three that's coming because it's Bible prophecy. 
These things must take place. We are at the end of Esau's kingdom. Scriptures say Jacob uh, is up next to rule, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So it says Romans 11, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. The armor of light is the word. It's the Lord. Okay. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying. You see, and that's those that's in the world, you know. You in the world, you 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 going to all these parties, clubs, you you ain't even thinking about the Lord. You're not even thinking about your salvation, man. You see? It says, um, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You know, because really you're supposed to be refraining from your own appetite and serving the Lord, man. You know, getting right with the most high. So, you know, with that. I hope you were edified. Just wanted to make a quick point. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.